What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. LTVD, the originals and legacy fans, we have some great news. Peacock is adapting Rochelle Mead's beloved Vampire Academy into a TV series. What's even better is that the series will have a lot in common with TVD. These books will soon come to life on screen. And here's everything we know about the adaptation so far. A Touch of TVD The Vampire Diaries boss Julie Pleck will be the creator of Vampire Academy. For those of you not familiar, Pleck is the one we should be sending thank you cards to because she's the person who created three of the best vampire shows. And we do that all the time with little, little things that will drop in here and there. The Vampire Diaries, The Originals, and Legacies. Vampire Academy lives on high expectations because of her previous work. According to an interview with TV Line, she signed her new deal with Universal Television. And when they asked her what projects she had always been wanting to make, her immediate answer was Vampire Academy. Julie Pleck created one of the biggest fan favorite universes with The Vampire Diaries and its spin off series, The Originals and Legacies. And we are excited to deliver this passionate audience a brand new story on MBC. NBC's streaming site Peacock, said Lisa Katz, president of scripted content at NBC Universal Television and Streaming, in an interview with Deadline. Fans of the three vampire shows that we've previously mentioned perfectly know how addictive Julie's stories are with her constantly utilizing intriguing dramas, and we know that Vampire Academy will be definitely worth the wait. Aaron Underhill, president and Universal TV, added, Julie has mastered captivating audiences with memorable characters, compelling storylines, and delicious escapism. Now, we're sure there's a lot of you thinking, isn't there a Vampire Academy film already? Yes, there is. The film was supposed to follow the series of TVD, but it ended up being quite the failure. The creator of the film was Mark Waters, and the story of it actually ends in a somewhat uncertain and anticlimactic way with the cliffhanger that was supposed to be followed with another part. Maybe I'll make you just like me. That way, we can be friends forever. Instead, the film never received a green light for continuation, and to be sure, Vampire Academy is quite confusing with its plot. However, now that Julie is working on the same project, we're sure we're going to see the best of it. Vampire Academy cast Marguerite McIntyre, who played Sheriff Elizabeth Forbes in The Vampire Diaries and was a writer on the originals and legacies, is also involved with the new project. And as all reports state, she is working with Plek. Cece Strange will play Rose Hathaway, while Daniela Nieves will play Rose's best friend, Lisa. Other cast members include Kiriam Moore, Dmitry Belikov, Anina Joy Waje, Tatiana Vogel, Mia McKenna Bruce, Mia Korp. Ryan Blundell, Meredith, Jonetta Kaiser, Sonia Karp, Andrew Liner, Mason Ashford, and J. August Richards, Victor Dashkov. We just couldn't have expected a better writing team for the show. Pleck is, as we've said, an amazing vampire stories writer, and the co showrunner, McIntyre, has also written numerous episodes of TVD spin off Legacies and the Originals. Billy Woodroff, who's directed episodes of Empire, Black Lightning, and Star, will direct the pilot. Vampire Academy Release Date Vampire Academy is based on the book series of the same name by Rochelle Mead. Her novels are certainly worth a read, and because of how successful her novels are, the movie was expected to be a hit. The fantasy horror comedy cast features Lucy Fry and Zoe Deutsch as vampire princess Lisa Dragamore and her half-human guardian Rose Hathaway, respectively. Gabrielle Byrne played the main antagonist, Victor Dashkov. And he suffers from a, um, a disease peculiar to vampires. So exactly how bad was the film? We practically live in a world where there's a sequel to everything, so our question is, how bad does a film need to be so that it isn't greenlit for another part? Critics literally hated this movie, which currently has a score of 16% on Rotten Tomatoes. But the biggest reason why there's no second part was definitely the budget. The creators faced a huge loss and Vampire Academy was soon forgotten. Well, until now. When it comes to plus Vampire Vampire Academy release date, the show is set to be released sometime in 2022 on Peacock. Until then, let's go through everything we know about its story, shall we? Vampire Academy 
plot. The new series is based on Rochelle Mead's YA novel of the same name, and it's the first of six book sets. So guys, if the first season proves to be successful, expect five more installments. The story in the book focuses on Rose Hathaway, a half-human, half-vampire teen who happens to be a bodyguard for her best friend, Lisa, a Mori vampire princess. The two of them go to St. Vladimir's, a school where the girls must survive a world of forbidden romances, a ruthless social scene, and terrifying nighttime rituals. But most of all, staying alive. To be honest, there's a tiny chance for the new show not to succeed. The first thing that can go wrong with the Vampire Academy is the vampire genre overpopulation. There are a lot of TV shows and films featuring a vampire story, from Twilight to True Blood to Vampire Diaries. And it's not just about vampires, zombies are overexposed too. Therefore, Vampire Academy needs to do its job in an original and innovative way so it can be successful. Is the show connected to the film? In order for the show not to follow the same failure as the 2014 big screen adaptation of Vampire Academy, it needs to stay as far away from the film as possible. Since all the roles have been recast, it looks like we're about to see a reboot that doesn't follow the film at all. Most vampire shows appear thriving, mostly because they are a continuation of a previously popular show. The Vampire Diaries universe got a continuation in 2018 with the release of the originals, and then the show got its second spin-off, Legacies. Now, Peacock decided to use Rochelle Mead's series of novels Vampire Academy for a TV adaptation. With a cast such as Cece Stringer, Daniela Nieves, and Kieran Moore, we highly doubt the show will be a failure. We also need to mention that in 2014, the TV industry was overpopulated with vampire shows. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 was released in 2012. HBO's True Blood was also releasing its finale back then. And The CW's The Vampire Diaries is releasing its fifth season. Remember, when Nina Dobrev was about to announce her departure, those were some sad times. The vampire rage seems to be cooled down and this seems like the perfect time to restart the storm. Vampire Academy, the film, was a failure because of its actor's performance, poor CGI, and the attempt to fit an entire story into an hour and 40 minute long film. We also need to mention that the film ended on a cliffhanger, since a sequel was initially planned, and its end didn't quite make sense. To be fair, these pieces of information are solely based on fans' opinions and we'll be glad if you share your own thoughts about the film down in the comment section below. Now let's get into some controversies, shall we? The Controversy with Julie Plack Julie Plack is an American television producer, writer, and director. She is mostly known for The Vampire Diaries and its spin-off shows, The Originals and Legacies. Now, as we mentioned, Plack is now busy with another vampire project, an adaptation of the book series Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. But Plack has faced backlash because of an actress that was cast in TVD. Before we start, we also need to mention that a black actress is leading her new project, Vampire Academy. The Let's talk about Cat Graham the actress that played Bonnie Bennett in TVD. Kat Graham was one of the cast members that were in TVD ever since its pilot episode. She first appeared alongside Nina Dobrev in TVD's debut, and she's certainly considered one of the main cast members in the show. However, a lot of people noticed how she was treated differently from the other cast members. According to a lot of fans, the fact that Bonnie would constantly be gone for episodes, then show up out of nowhere to offer assistance to the white characters, and then be gone again proved that she was treated badly by the show's producer, Julie Plack. Her bad treatment was never confirmed and these pieces of information are only rumors that are circling on the internet, but we felt it was important to mention them. Do you guys believe these rumors? Also, are you excited about Vampire Academy? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our other videos in the future.